Lupe Fiasco's The Cool turned 10 years old today. Um, man, this is one of my favorite albums ever, probably, ever. Uh, arguably got me back into listening to hip-hop when it came out. And uh, I remember my brother introduced this album to me. And uh, it was just on repeat for so long. Such a long time. Um, I think this is almost, if not, a perfect album. From front to back, beginning to end, is a perfect album. Actually, one song I'll take off of, I'll get into that later. But this album means a lot to me. Uh, it's one that I, I even bought back in the day. I even bought it for my mom and we would listen to it in the car and even she liked it. So that's when you know, that's when you know you have a good album is when your mom likes it. So let's just go down the track list here. Uh, Free Chili. Actually the intro, the first track is just awesome as well. The whole poetry, just like on Food and Liquor as well. Um... Free Chili is beautiful. Such a beautiful way to set off the album. Just like an emotional track that's only a minute long, but it's so like just powerful. It's such a powerful track. Um, a great way to set it off, set the tone of the album. Uh, Go Go Gadget flow, ridiculous. Absolutely ridiculous. I mean, that flow is just like unstoppable. The beat is awesome. Uh, the coolest, oh my god, that song is just straight poetry. Such a beautiful song lyrically, but such a dark and like creepy song with the beat. It's just so, I don't know, that song is like seriously amazing. Uh, Superstar, classic. Paris Tokyo, amazing, classic. That song is like so, I don't, it's such a crazy... Well, my bad. It's crazy how, like, the tone of the album changes with, like, Superstar and the Paris Tokyo. It's kind of like a, it goes down and then up and then down again in the way, like, the whole, uh, the content and how he's, like, making the album. Like, it goes, like, it starts to get a little lighter and brighter with Paris Tokyo and into high definition. It's kind of like a more like a bling bling kind of song. Gold Watch, bling bling. Hip Hop Save My Life, I mean... It's hard even describing some of these songs and, like, how good they are. Like, like it doesn't really even do it justice to be like, oh, the lyrics are good and the beat is good. For Hip Hop Save My Life and, like, half this album, it's like, it doesn't even do it justice to be like, oh, yeah, it's good. Because everything about this is just so fucking good. Like, Hip Hop Save My Life, that song speaks for itself, man. Like, everyone that heard that song, like, understood that this was bigger than just like a regular ass song you know uh intruder alert is pretty good streets on fire <laughs> amazing amazing and uh oh no that's actually little weapon which is fucking insane insane little weapon is such an underrated song one of the most underrated songs like ever straight up and interestingly enough the lead singer of fallout boy helped write that song and produce it which is pretty interesting i thought gotta eat super underrated super underrated those lyrics are insane man the way he, he's comparing drug dealing to fast food that shit is insane and just like oh my god insane insane and underrated sb2 dumb it down lyrically out of this fucking world the beat i never really could get behind but um, it's it's a good track lyrically because it's next level. Hello goodbye, really good. The die insane. Oh my god, so insane, like so insane. And also shout out to uh, Gemstones, man. He kills he kills the shit. He kills his verses and all that. And um, same with Bishop G on uh, Little Weapon. Uh, Put You On Game, like, one of my favorite songs ever. One of my favorite songs ever. Um, the whole thing of him describing the game and, like, I'm pretty sure my whole theory about behind this song was that he was just talking, like, from the perspective of money the whole time. 
because he he goes in depth of how it runs like the whole entire world and it's corruption and it's darkness behind it as well and then fighters speaks for itself that song is just amazing and then to finish it off with go baby uh go baby is like probably my least favorite track on here i would do without that song and he probably just should have ended it with fighters honestly but it's not a bad track but i'm i really never listen to it just because the whole album like is on a whole different wavelength or maybe he should have put go baby in the middle of the album with like paris tokyo high definition gold watch all them songs maybe regardless this album is one of my favorite albums of all time uh at one point in my life i did i honestly thought this was the greatest hip-hop album um it's just really it's it's honestly a classic and one of the best of our time of this generation and um uh, it means a lot to me and i really love it and hopefully lupe can reach this this point again just because with food and liquor and with this album right here the cool i feel like i'll never give up on lupe just because of these two albums alone because they were so so powerful and impactful but um anyway i'm going on like seven minutes here the cool one of the greatest albums of all time 10 years old that's fucking crazy and uh yeah man if you haven't listened to this album you need to listen to it just sit down with it by yourself with in your own thoughts and uh just listen to it from beginning to end and yeah that's it